I see anything with a dog. Hi guys. It is a lovely summer night. Actually starting to feel a little bit like summer. Here on, uh, where are we? Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. I believe so. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is supposed to be my annual broken record Earth Overshoot Day, where I like to every year on Earth Overshoot Day, which was yesterday, you know, thumb through the mainstream media to look at how the mainstream media is playing up Earth Overshoot Day. But of course, there was one problem. Uh, there was not one mention of Earth Overshoot Day on Earth Overshoot Day, which was yesterday. So I'm thinking, surely today. But guess what? I and I've and I've tried. And I've gone through the Rolodex three times today, looking for one mention of Earth Overshoot Day. Uh, anywhere uh, on the mainstream media and, and, and you, as I've mentioned before you, you know on Yahoo News that they actually you know like put me through a doomer algorithm where I tend to get a lot more environmental uh, well 99% climate change stories than the vast majority of people will not one mention yesterday or today. So I get out my team of bloodhounds and my electron microscope determined I am going to find one article on this planet about Earth Overshoot Day. And we found it. The little lefties, uh, <laughs> the little lefties, have come through, and I'm gonna put this little lefty dog to bed here. Uh, and we're talking about the uh, those little lefties over at Common Dreams, where they are taking Earth overshoot very seriously. You know, I've <clears throat> done a couple of rants uh, about adaptation this week and, and I did this, uh, read this essay by this economist uh, yesterday in, you know, for Earth Overshoot Day. Uh, I read an article by an economist in The Ecologist trying to explain Earth Overshoot to other economists, I guess, and, you know, basically pointing out, and what was his name, James Meadway or somebody, it, 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 it ain't gonna happen. Uh, even James Meadway, anybody thinking at this point that humans are going to somehow overturn the global industrial economy that we're just going to uh, just, just suddenly realize that we're doomed and instead of just putting the pedal to the metal that we're actually as a planet we're all going to come together in some big kumbaya moment and turn this freight train around ain't going to happen so with all of the angles that these little lefties at uh, Common Dreams could play up on Earth Overshoot Day, I am uh, embarrassed to admit this is the one they chose. This is not the onion. It might as well be the onion. You know, this would be hilarious satire uh, well, it is hilarious satire, although they don't realize it. On Earth Overshoot Day, campaigners say, move the date, move the date, 
<laughs> by fixing broken economic system. This is Greenpeace International. Quote, we still, we still have a chance to change the broken economic system that puts profit and overconsumption before people and nature. Yes. Okay. So, you know, this is probably the reason that Paul Watson, you know, the head of Sea Shepherds Society, just got sick and tired of Greenpeace just caving into this crap, buying up this Green New Deal to save the planet, and, and all of this bullshit, uh, Greenpeace. What, what an absolute little lefty embarrassment that Greenpeace uh, ha has become. You know, when Greenpeace is climbing on this little solar panel, whatever bandwagon uh, to save this planet, you know the planet is doomed. Okay, if you need, if you need any more evidence that the planet is doomed, look at those little lefties over there, those, those little washed up lefties over there at Greenpeace. And, and of course, Common Dreams, uh, just a mouthpiece for these little clueless moron lefties. These mainstream environmentalists. Uh, you know, environmentalists used to have balls. They have lost, you know, the, the mainstream environmental community has been completely castrated. It's been castrated. It's been co-opted uh, by all of this crap. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if, if this uh, chick, Julia Conley, she's the, usually the one who covers stories like this for Common Dreams. I don't know if, if, if Julia Conley believes half of this crap uh, that she writes. Uh, it, 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 it just embarrasses me, but, but at least Common Dreams is mentioning Earth Overshoot Day, which is more than anybody else is doing. Anyway, I'm getting uh, ahead or behind. Take it away, Julia Conley, and talk, us, talk to us about how we're going to turn this freight train, train around. All right. Campaigners and researchers who calculate Earth Overshoot Day each year called on policymakers to help move the date on Tuesday as they announced the planet has already reached the date when humanity has used more natural resources than Earth can generate in a year. August 2nd marked 2023's Earth Overshoot Day, coming five days later than it did last year, which right there I, I have to blow the whistle. Uh, the, the bullshit detected whistle. Uh, th th there is no way in hell uh, that Earth Overshoot Day came five days later than it did last year. Uh, right off. Uh, I I anyway, why am I even wasting my time uh, puking up this, th this bullshit? August 2nd, um, five days later than it did last year, but months earlier than in 1971, when the day was first recorded by experts. The date shows a clear trend towards overshoot days occurring closer to the beginning of the year according to the Global Footprint Network. All right. Uh, so, 
you know, Global Footprint Network, I, I, I don't know if Terry Spar, I interviewed Terry, I, I don't know if, if, if Terry is, is involved with these guys or this Max Wacker Nagel, I don't know who is running this, but uh, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a feeling that even Global Footprint Network is being infected by the hopium virus. All right. The organization produces the estimate each year using data from the United Nations. Well, there, there, there's the first problem. Using data from the United Nations, which is, which is all self-reported data from these lie from these planet-eating lying sacks of shit spewing out this nonsense. The, the, these lying sacks of shit can say whatever they want to, uh, and, and the UN just jots it down, and, and then the Global Footprint Network comes and laps that and laps that bullshit up, and then they feed it to uh, these little lefties over at Common Dreams, and they lap it up. Nobody questioning uh, th th this data uh, from the United Nations. Uh, is, is anybody out there really believing uh, anything, any data uh, from the from the UN? The organization produces the estimate each year using data from the United Nations showing each country's ecological footprint and the Earth's ability to absorb waste and produce renewable resources, also known as its biocapacity. Earth Overshoot Day is directly linked to the climate emergency and the effects of planetary heating, said Global Foot Net Footprint Network, as each country's ecological footprint includes its fossil fuel emissions. And this is where we get into this whole other uh, rant about the semantics of this footprint that people uh, confusing the carbon footprint to the ecological footprint. Uh, the, the, these global mis emissions are the climate change. It is climate change is the big toe of the ecological footprint. Okay. Climate change is one part of the ecological footprint. The carbon footprint is one part of the ecological footprint. If you completely fixed climate change, all right, guys, completely fixed it, got rid of it, you geoengineered your way out of it, you solar paneled, you windmilled, you geoengineered, whatever, uh, and, and took your carbon footprint to zero, you would still have uh, this much of your footprint still left. The carbon footprint is a small part of the ecological footprint. With no carbon footprint at all, the, the ecological footprint is still going to crush this planet if there's 8 billion Make that 16 billion uh, ecological footprints uh, tromping all over this planet. Uh, Julia Conley, uh, either she doesn't get it, she doesn't uh, have, have time to explain it to us. Uh, anyway... With 70 to 80 percent of all people expected to live in urban areas by 2050, said GFN, quote, 
smart city planning and urban development strategies are instrumental to making sure there is enough biological regeneration to avoid excessive human demand that would erode it. It sounds like Global Footprint Network has just descended. You know, it's like another one bites the dust. Greenpeace is bitten the dust. You know, I'm losing all respect uh, for Global Footprint Network. Any respect uh, I have ever had for Global Footprint Network just went down the toilet with this article. Uh, they've just turned in to this little lefty mouthpiece for the United Nations quoting all of this crap. In one interactive feature called Power of Possibility, the organization outlines dozens, dozens of specific solutions which could help humans conserve the world's resources each year, including number one on the, the, uh, on the list, 15-minute cities, which would move Earth Overshoot Day back by 11 days. The large-scale adoption of onshore wind turbines for energy production, which would move the date back by 10 days by 2050. But unfortunately, by 2050, Earth Overshoot Day is going to be January 1st. Uh, okay, here we go. The widespread use of insulating high-performance glass, assuming they have enough sand to mine the high-performance glass, could move the date back 1.2 days. But of course, the big one, guys, the big one. What do you think, according to the Global Footprint Network, could move the date back by 42 days? 42 days. What do you think? The implementation of a Green New Deal with the ambition level of the European Union. Oh, God. And uh, moving on, uh, if, if you think, uh, if you think Greenpeace and Global Footprint Network have just rolled over and stuck their legs up in the air, how has Friends of the Earth, at least Friends of the Earth, uh, been co-opted and corrupted uh, and castrated by the, uh, by the Green New Deal? Overall, said Friends of the Earth Europe, quote, the only future-proof solution, yes, to increasingly early Earth overshoot days is, quote, moving beyond the economic growth-based system. And then uh, echoed Greenpeace, the broken economic system is designed for the elite, but it can be redesigned to put people and nature at the forefront. We have the power to change the system.
is the one mention that I could find on Earth Overshoot Day on this planet. 99, uh, a six sigma level of this planet, 99.9999% of this planet has no clue uh, what Earth Overshoot Day is. They have no clue that Earth Overshoot Day was yesterday. Uh, they have no clue what overshoot means. Oh, God. Anyway, let's make a prediction for next year. I will call it, what, what day are they going to pull out of their hat next year? Uh, July 28th, I'm going to check in. Anyway, I should call up Terry Spar and get, uh, he's a good guy, see what Terry has to say about it. Anyway, I'm going back to Netflix. I'm going to I'm learning how to be a uh, a cult leader. I'm watching this series on Netflix so I can become a doomsday cult leader. So uh if anybody wants to join my doomsday cult, I am officially announcing the Collapse Chronicles Doomsday Cult. So, uh, what have I learned on Netflix? Oh, yes, give me all your money. Send me all your money, and we're going to buy us a little place. I don't know. Where are we going to move to, guys? Because, you know, we, we've got to buy us a piece of land somewhere. And it's too damn cold up here in the winter, so bugs in a jar ain't going to be it. So, uh, anyway, let's get to work on our new Doomsday Cult. Get out there and join a Doomsday Cult while you still can. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hello, Sancho Panza. What is your opinion of Earth Overshoot Day? Do you, you seem very concerned about uh, Earth Overshoot Day. You look like you're very stressed out about the state of the planet. Are you stressed out about the state of the planet on Earth Overshoot Day? This is most people. This right here, if you want to see the reaction to 99.99% .99 of the people. Sancho, Earth Overshoot Day. Sancho, Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. <sighs> Bye, guys.